Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the first three things that I try to fix whatever issue that I run into with my Amazon Fire TV. Now, if you think that your issue is related to the Fire TV remote, I have a separate video completely dedicated to trying to fix your remote, and that'll be linked down in the video description down below. Now, the first step that I try if I'm having trouble with my Amazon Fire TV is simply resetting the device. Now you can go about this a couple of ways. The easiest one is just to simply unplug it from its power source, wait around 10 seconds or so, and then plug the device back in. You can also accomplish this by taking out your Fire TV remote and holding down both the select and the play and pause button at the same time and hold both of those buttons down for a number of seconds. And after you do that, it'll go into its reboot phase. Now the device is going back through its startup phase. And after a restart, what this can do in general is fix some issues that you might run into if your device freezes or you run into some type of bug or glitch within the Amazon 4K TV applications or the operating system itself. Now, after you do that restart, and resetting the device if you're still having issues then what i would do is go over to your settings and make sure you have a good strong connection to the internet so we're going to go over to network and then to get more detailed information on your particular network just find whichever wireless router that you're connected to and click the play pause button and then it'll give you a little bit more information you want to make sure that you are connected to wi-fi that your signal strength is in the very good to good range. If you're in a poor or a very weak signal, then that could also be an issue that you might be running into. And if that's the case, I definitely recommend trying to get your wireless internet router to a situation where it's closer to your Amazon Fire TV. And then also, of course, you wanna make sure that you have a little green check mark next to connected to the internet. But if all that looks good, then the last thing that I'm going to have you try is to update the Amazon Fire TV 4K or stick or whatever Amazon Fire TV device that you might have. So we're going to go over in the settings to My Fire TV. And then we're going to click About. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says Check for Updates. And you just want to make sure that your Amazon Fire TV is most up to date to whichever current version that you're supposed to be running. Now, now if these three steps don't fix your particular issue, then I also just recommend going to Amazon support and seeing if they can try to fix whatever issue that you might be having. And I'll have a link to that as well down in the video description, along with that link on how to fix issues that might come up with your Fire TV remote. So thanks guys for stopping by. And I hope this video was helpful. Consider subscribing for more and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.